Hi. If you're watching this, it probably means that Motion Monkey 2.0 has been released on most platforms. Uh, it might be still pending on iOS at the moment, but it's uh, almost released everywhere. Um, that's a very important milestone for the project. And in lots of ways, it feels like a completion, a completion for it. Uh, when I started Motion Monkey two years ago, the idea, the idea was to build a very simple and streamlined video player for the internet, entirely for the internet, with the internet in mind, with, you know, starting with a text, very simple text query, just like you do when you're using your web browser, and then getting straight to the video bytes and playing them through a libvlc and vlc, glorious vlc player. And I wanted that to be extremely simple so that even a monkey could figure how it works. Um, and so I'm very happy because the design I had originally uh, is very close from the design I'm, I have now. And so I stayed consistent with the project and kept iterating on it uh, to push it further uh, with each release. So hopefully it will be interesting for you. And in this video, I'll try to summarize briefly the uh, three new features that you might get uh, using this. So first of all, when starting the application, what you might notice right away is the fact that the UI has been revamped. Um, I'm now using very thin and streamlined icons. Uh, most of the components are simpler than before, uh, which uh, improves cl clarity of the application. Um, and so it's quite nice to use and it looks pretty good on most devices I've tried. I've tried that on Android, on PCs, on, on um, an iPad, on an iPhone too. So uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the way it looks now. And previously I felt that the application was uh, powerful and strong uh, uh, in terms of uh, possibilities, in terms of capabilities. Now I can say it's both powerful and beautiful and I'm happy and I'm happy about it. And hopefully you'll be happy about that too. I had few criticism about about that in the past. Um, hopefully, uh, people will be happy about the UI now. Um, another one which changed, let me go back to the dark theme here, is a suggestion. So now you have a light bulb uh, just under the history with a bunch of uh, suggested tracks that are populated based on your recent history. Um, it's fairly nice because it's based on everything you've watched. And it's not just YouTube videos. It can be TikTok, it can be the movie database, it can, be, it can even be Twitch feeds. I can even recommend you uh, Twitch feeds and so on. And so it's, it's, it's a lot like a global uh, recommendation, a centralized recommendation for each of the backends based on the content you've watched recently. And speaking of recent, we also have the recent tracks here, which are essentially uh, recently uploaded tracks based on your feeds here on the left, on the right, depending on the size of the, depending on the, the position of the camera for this video. So it's pretty much like YouTube subscription, except that it works with, once again, all the channels from different backends. So you might see, you might have there uh, TikTok video, Facebook, and so on. And so it's pretty convenient. And, um, you know, I'm not a very big advocate. Uh, when it comes to recommendation through algorithm. I think in lots of ways it produces uh, corrupt recommendation. But I have to admit that occasion occasionally it can be a good doorway um, to find something interesting to watch next. So I'm not a big believer in algorithm recommendation through recommendation. I think friends and family are better for that. And I actually wrote a note about it on the forum if you want to check it out. But Every once in a while, it's, it's good to see recommendation where you, when you're a bit lazy and uh, you can find interesting content based on them. So hopefully it can be useful for you. Uh, another, another tab here now uh, shows the video hubs here that we have. Um, so video hubs are meant for exploration and discovery, if you will. Um, it's essentially like a catalog. You have the Twitch catalog, the movie database catalog, Disney Plus, uh, you know, a bunch of them. Um, people can actually create their own hub if they want, uh, you know, with their own video tag and so on. 
And uh, it's convenient when you want to discover things, like you want to discover the latest movies, the latest TV shows, you want to you know, explore a bunch. Um, it's like uh, the exploratory uh, functionality of the application. Uh, previously, it was more of, a, of an access slash search, but now you get exploration too. So that's the, actually, that's the second things I've been working on. Another thing which I've been uh, working on is um, essentially the source panel that you can see here. So the source panel is essentially exposing the raw sources based on a, on a video so that you can share these raw sources. For instance, you might want to share them with a VLC player so you can watch them in the background or in picture in picture mode. Uh, you might want to copy the link and put it in a browser so you can download the video source itself and play it offline. And so surprisingly, even though it was quite, quite even though it's quite a simple uh, panel, it's quite powerful because getting access to the raw video bytes uh, enables you to do uh, quite a few things with them, especially when you have something like a VLC player installed. And so that's the third major uh, thing that comes with Motion Box, Motion Monkey, sorry, 2.0. Uh, so feel free to trade for, for yourself. Don't hesitate to send me feedback. Um, and if you can, uh, make sure that you review uh, the application. Uh, Five stars help a lot, uh, but naturally be honest about your review. And uh, yeah, it feels a lot like uh, the end of a journey. Uh, when I started this uh, two, more, more than two years ago, it was, um, it was quite a move from the desktop application that I've been building before that. But now I feel that it's quite ready for uh, prime time and uh, it's a good uh, cornerstone, it's a good foundation stone if you want for what might be coming next. Um, I'm really happy with the application and when you're using this uh, in conjunction here with a Tvolution receiver, uh, you might want to check on omega.gg slash tv, omega.gg slash tv. You can actually uh, install a remote video screen on a bunch of platforms and then using the monkey together with that remote video screen, pretty much like an ecosystem of application, uh, at least the beginning of it, uh, you get a TV television-like experience. I've been using uh, Motion Monkey uh, together with my Android TV for the past few months, and it's been very cool, very great. And, uh, you know, it supports a lot of backends. The current application supports DuckDuckGo, the movie database, BitTorrent on Android, uh, BitTorrent streaming, a comprehensive BitTorrent streaming based on LibTorrent, state-of-the-art BitTorrent streaming. YouTube, Dailymotion, Vimeo, Twitch, TikTok, Facebook, Last.fm, SoundCloud, Odyssey, and, and Counting. And it's a single guy maintaining all of this thanks to a cutting edge, really, a scripting language called VBML that enables me to be very agile when anything changes uh, on the backend th side of things, if you want. And so I'm really happy about this application. Hopefully it can be useful for you or your friends or your family. I've been building that being entirely dedicated to you, serves your best interest at all time. I'm not doing telemetry. I'm not doing, uh, you know, monitoring of any kind. I'm not collecting your data. I don't care about your data. I don't care about what you're watching. What I care about is building an application that I can uh, selfly recommend to my friends and family, to my loved one, to my, to my partner, to my wife, to my own kids. <laughs> I want to build the best software that serves your best interest at all time. And Really, everyone should do that. Uh, you know, we're doing that with the VLC project too. Uh, you know, building software is about serving people and it's really important to do it. And maybe at one point, uh, you know, some part of this will be monetized. For now, it's entirely free because we're still in this adoption phase for the project. But, you know, when building something, you should always make sure that it serves people, that, um, you know, it's the best tool you can build out of what you know and out of what you've learned and out of what you've received. Thank you for your attention.